Hi, everybody. This is a wee bit of alchemy. I'm Rick Barrett. Welcome. Today, I'd like to talk about spiraling gin. And this is something that question that Sharon asked. And uh, it's like, what exactly are we talking about when we're talking about spiraling? And uh, so the uh, first, I'd like to clear up a bit of nomenclature here, because a lot of times people talk about spiraling gin and they say it's the same thing as chance of gin, which is um, a specific type of spiraling energy. And, and I, I'm, I'm fine with, with, with that. Um, I, however, see chance of gin as a particular type. I see it as, as a, uh, a description of a type of, of of energy that um, is really only uh, talked about in Chen style Tai Chi. That's sort of like the province that's their, their baby. They own that term, which is, and, 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 um, and uh, the translation is it's a, um, uh, uh, what's it called? Uh, a um, silk reeling energy. That is, it's, the comes from the concept of of how they were able to make silk uh, from um, from the the cocoon of a silkworm, and they pull the threads out, the 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 fibers out, uh, and so you have to have the exact right amount of tension to be able to unravel the these these uh, 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 fibers that the silkworm has has spun there. And so you're pulling it out and you can't pull it too abruptly or it'll break, but you also need a certain amount of continuous tension to do that. And there's also a quality there of to make it into thread, there is a twisting that occurs. So you're twisting these fibers as they're coming out and you're creating this silk thread from it. And this is something that's a very time consuming, requires a lot of patience and a lot of you know, attention to the, to the action. So it's a, it's describing a type of energy where you're, you're keeping this continuous spiral going on throughout your whole body. And it's, uh, and you're able to then direct it in, in various ways. And so, um, you, you see it, like I say, in, in, in Chen style, I'll show you what, uh, yeah, a, um, what it might look like in Chen style. I haven't done Chen style in 20 years, but it's uh, the, uh, the basic idea is, is that you're, you're, you're getting a, there's a rotation that's occurring and that your body, notice that my body is, as my hands are going this way, my body is turning and there's this kind of thing. So there's this, this constant kind of spiraling this coming through the feet, up the legs, and then you're getting into a this kind of this kind of action going on, where there is a connection. The spirals are all connecting up, and you're going boom like this, da da, and something like that. So anyway, you get the idea. It's a a very specific type of application of spiraling energy, although as these things do, they, the word kind of has become popularized to, to mean kind of any kind of spiraling energy. But for our purposes, I want to break it down so that you have a felt sense of what that, you know, what it feels like, what, you know, the experience of it, the direct experience of the spiral uh, within your body so then you can apply it in all kinds of things. And so the way I teach Tai Chi is it's that same energy, that spiraling energy is kind of hidden in a yang style, even though it looks very linear and, uh, and circular, you know, to the, uh, to the, on the outside and the inside there's, there's this spiraling going on. And, uh, be able to use it so that you can then apply it in whatever movement you're you're using. 
So to, to understand it, it we, we start with the, the concept of the spiral, which is really the, the fundamental geometric pattern in the universe. So a spiral is basically a circle that's moving in a direction. And so, and so since everything is in motion, even if, you know, like, you know, if you're just thinking of terms of the planet is rotating on its axis, the it's orbiting around the sun, it's the whole solar system is moving through at thousands of miles an hour. So it's a, there's a lot going on there in terms of motion. So we have to define any motion, we have to define what is still and what is moving. So we're, all motion is relative to some point that we're saying, we're calling the still point, we're calling that the, uh, that's our reference point. So in the a spiral in our body, we have to organize that motion. So we get a circle, but then we get a vector with it. That is the circle is now traveling. So we have this going, so it becomes like a, uh, like a screw, it kind of burrows into whatever it is we're, we're uh, going toward. So we get that, or can, uh, the spiral can also be expanding. A screw would be going, would be going in, and you can also move it in the, in the expansive direction. So the, um, to get the idea, just you wanna take your hand and just make a circle with it and just, just, just get that feeling there of what that circle is. And it has its own particular energy. It's got a circular energy. Now, now, if we then take that circle and reach forward as we're circling, now we have a spiral. Okay, very simple, boom, 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 kind of circle like that. So we have that it's, it's moving with reference to my body. So here it is. Oh, it's moving forward. It's moving out that way, you know, with reference to this part here, which is still. So we, to get this, get this going, the spiraling energy, the spiraling gin. So remember, gin is when we're expressing an energy through the body. We create movements which allow us to experience that at a, at a fairly gross level. And then we make it smaller, smaller, smaller till we're able to attune to the insubstantial aspect of that gin, which is the energy part where you can, so instead of, instead of moving my hand forward like this, I rotate my hand, but my intention is taking it forward. So the spiral then becomes a, uh, the forward direction is coming from an insubstantiality, which is my mind intent, my E. So we get, mm, we go like that. So we practice it big and so that we can make it small so that, and smaller, smaller so even the circle disappears and you have the intention of twisting, the intention of thrusting both, or it can go the opposite direction, it can be pulling back. And the beauty of it is from a tactical standpoint, from a martial arts application, is it really amplifies your effective power whenever you throw this spiraling chin into the mix. Whereas a, a, a push forward like that is has a certain energy to it. But if I push forward, like mm, there's a twist to it, then it, that energy amplifies and, you know, may, uh, you know, depending on how well you, how much gin you put in it, it can be many times the effect of, of just a straight push. So getting to it, we kind of, kind of fall on call up what, we, uh, what we've been doing the last couple of weeks, which is the sequential activation of joints. That is, we want to activate the body-mind so that it connects all the dots. 
So whatever part you're you're using to create that gin with, it's you have a finite endpoint and a finite beginning point that you're able to to address, and then you can extend through that. That becomes your structure. That's the yin part. Then the yang part is the insubstantiality, the the extension through that with your mind intent. So you um, you know it's just like a like a hose. You know the the water passing through it is a continuous flow and is coming from somewhere and is going to somewhere. But the hose itself is finite. It's you know it's a it's a measurable distance there, and the water may you know, theoretically just keep seeping out and just keep going, going, going until it evaporates. But there's, it's not, it's not a, uh, as uh, local as the, the hose is. The same thing with my arm, the movement like that is, that's a very yin, very finite length of hose there. But the energy that is moving through that, the intent is, it continues. You can imagine it going to infinity. So we want to. So we want to establish the structure, so that we have this this connection. So we're not getting in our own way. If we try to we try to just do a a movement, a spiraling movement, and we don't have that energetic connection, that whole body connection there, we it just dissipates. The, the gin that we are creating is, it, it just falls apart. It's like having like, going back to the hose analogy, it's like having a bunch of holes in your hose. It's like, you know, it, it's, it's gone. So we're going back to what we're, we're doing last week, which is in the last couple of weeks, that is creating that connection throughout the whole body mind. And then we're going to do cool stuff with it. So before we go any, before we get up and, and talk about that, uh, I'd like to see if anybody has any questions or comments that they want to, any thoughts on that? We're good, 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 good. Okay, let's, uh, let's, let's roll. Stand up, please. All right, so let's just begin with our three pillars. So we're starting off by getting uh, you know, the, uh, we're connecting the dots. We're establishing our center equilibrium by feeling the balls of the feet, knees are unlocked. Relax your lower back and allow your pelvis to level out. Reach up with the crown point of your head and tuck in your chin, opening up the jade pillow gate. yourself sinking into your legs, feel very heavy down into the earth. At the same time, you're reaching up with the crown. And you're creating that yang connection with the heavens, the yin connection with the earth. You want to open the qua by pushing away and then spiraling down. So there's that word spiral again. So we'll get to that too, we're spiraling and return. So we're releasing down, down, down. We're kind of screwing down into the earth, emptying down. Point your index fingers, feel, feel the energetic coherence throughout the body. Now here today, I'd like you to also feel the fingernails as if you're kind of, you're grabbing something with the fingernails or like you're a cat and you've got these claws and you're feeling that. You want to feel that, that, um, that connection there all the way, not just to your fingertips, but to the fingernails. You'll feel tingling there in the, in the fingernails. 
Maybe you feel a little itchy. Reach with the elbows, opening the shoulder joints. So just feel into that and just notice that you've got a whole body energetic connection now. So bring your hands up, feel, feel the substance of the air, of the space as you're pulling through it there. And bring your hands up so that you're, you're reaching out, your arms are like at a 45 degree angle. I'm going to feel those claws, feel the fingers, and feel your wrists. Just there's a slight bend there with the wrists, so that you're activating the wrist energy. Fingers, wrists. Feel your elbows, reach out with your elbows and open your shoulder joints. Feel the chi in your hands. So you're already connecting up there. And kind of rotate, starting with the fingers, the wrists, rotate, pivoting at the elbows so the palms come forward. So we're getting this rotation. Feel the fingers, the wrists, elbows, reach with the elbows and rotate back. So this is a simple rotation, it's circular. Feel the fingers, feel the wrists, Kind of reach with your thumbs as you're kind of as the thumbs are turning like you're turning a you know a, a cap on a jar or something you're rotating that and this time you're turning back reach with the in, the little fingers and you're going the other direction So we're getting this rotational energy and you can feel it's a very distinct quality to it. Do it again, feel, reach with the thumbs. Feel that connection all the way down through your body, through your feet and into the earth. Rotate back, reach with the little fingers. Now this time you're gonna Reach with the index finger, reach with the wrist, bend with the wrist slightly, and reach with the elbows. And this time you're going to reach forward just a few inches, just enough as you rotate. Uh, reaching with the little finger and reach down back with the elbows and pulling back. We've taken that rotational energy, do it again, reaching out. And we are now creating a spiraling energy. And it is qualitatively different from that rotational energy. Being able to distinguish between those, which is take some practice to be able to do, but this is what well, comes out of the heading of understanding Jin. You're learning to interpret energy. Sure, that from the side. From the side, okay. So we're doing it from the side. You're with the thumbs, you're reaching out, reaching forward. Now, reach back with the elbows, wrists, fingers. Now we're going to make that even smaller. 
but have that same intention of reaching forward. So you're rotating and you're only going out half as far this time. And back. And cut that in half. So feel the intention driving that spiral forward. Reach back. You're pulling with your fingernails. And now do it and you're not, there's no mo apparent movement forward. They're just that rotation, but feel the spiral based on your intention. This can be done seated as well as standing. Now, you're not going to move at all, but feel your intention to move, intention to rotate, your intention to extend forward. So feel the spiral as an energy. Now return back to reach back. Reaching forward. Feel that turn, that reaching out. Feel the pulling back. Now let all that go and just allow for the potentiality of that. Just feel that gin without any manifestation. That is, you're not putting it there, but the potentiality exists so that you can go there instantly if you want to. Now just go there, reach out. Reach forward, turn, and pull back. And just now do it without moving. And pull back. So feel that that gin there. So we've got spiraling gin. Now we're going to let that go. And we're gonna do it with the legs now. Same idea here. That is, you're going to be spiraling down by releasing through the quad. This is a key point and it's something we've talked about many times, but the, let's start with the left leg here. You feel the ball of the foot, you set the knee. And I like to push away just to get the, so you're really taking control of this. And then you, oh, you, Spiral down. So as you're spiraling down, notice that the hip is not going out to the side at all. Your hip is, is staying within the base of my feet. So I'm why, how I how do I do that? I release down, I spiral down into my leg by releasing at the quad, softening the muscular contractions that hold my hip tight. And then I'm going to come back. And this time I'm gonna spiral up and turn, I'm coming back up. And I'm gonna spiral down. Feel yourself loading up that left leg as you sink and get your screwing down into the earth. Now push away and come back up. Now do it with the right leg. You're, you're the ball, set the knee, push away from the earth and then oh, spiral down. Feel yourself spiraling down, loading up. Feel that constant contact with the ball of your foot and then pushing up and back to zero. Push away and then spiraling down. So what we're doing here is we are bringing that spiral into our leg. They push away and come back up. Now we're gonna go down into the left leg, feel the ball, set the knee, push away and then spiral down. 
release down. So you're loading up that left claw, you're loading up the left leg. Everything is settled in there. And this time, rather than pushing away, you're just gonna turn, keeping the knee exactly where it is. The knee's not moving and you're turning to the right. Now you're turning back to the left. Because with, if your hips are level and you're releasing at the quad, then there's no resistance there to just turning. It becomes a very smooth and easy movement. And then push away. And then uh, spiral down to the right, loading up the right quad. And spiraling down. And this time, turn without pushing back. And turn again. And turn again. Nice and easy. Your, your body just glides as you turn. Now push away, come back to, to center. Now this time you're gonna spiral down, but not get down so deep. All it's good, so same idea we use with the hands. It's going to be, you can do like half of, of that. You feel the ball set, the knee push away, and then uh, you're loading up, but only dropping a very little bit. So much so that most people wouldn't even notice how little you dropped. And now you turn. And notice that the hip is free. It, your body just glides. You're able to load up that left leg and be able to turn very easily because you've established your spiral there. And that enabled you to release the hip joint. Now we're going to go into the right leg. You push away and then just drop down just a wee bit and turn. So notice what's happening here is that learning to control the claw and how much we release it. Uh, a lot of times you don't want to go way down into the claw. You just want to just go a little bit. So now you're going back to the left claw. And this time, hardly anything at all. You just feel yourself releasing, you're spiraling down, using your intention and turn and turn back and just feel that. So notice you're able to release the claw by spiraling down using your intention so it didn't require a lot of movement. And go into your right leg, you push away and ah, just spiral down a little bit and Turn. So before we go any further, I'm going to uh, ask if there are any questions on what we've done so far. See if it, that uh, that's working for people. So how's that, how's that going so far? Is that everything clear? Sharon. Sharon. Um. Your instructions are very clear, and I, I feel it in the hands and the arms, but I'm not getting it down in my legs. Okay, what's what's uh, what are you feeling in your legs? Um, just the my the usual. I use the word my usual energy, <laughs> which is not spiral. You know, I I feel like they're alive and energetic but I'm not, the spiral is not traveling down my leg. Okay. Okay. Is there, you're feeling anything? You're able to be able to make that downward turn? I can do that in my quad, but it's like it's, it doesn't travel, it doesn't descend beyond that. Well, that's a great start. That's that's a great start. So that's that's where where it begins. So you uh, you know as you learn to trust that, you know, then you can let go of more and more muscular tension in the legs, and learn to be able to just hang out there. And and the insubstantial 
part of, of, the, of the equation there, the flow of, of chi becomes more prominent the more you can relax and trust the leg. Does that make sense? Yes, thank you. You bet. Nick. Missed. Okay. Yeah. Um, <laughs> I'm wondering if if taking the imagery just a little bit further and going beyond the joint and thinking about that spiral continuing down into the ground, like sort of like corkscrew or some sort of image of, of that uh, moving, taking that energy that begins in the spiral in the hip and just letting it go down into the ground would help. Sharon? I'll play with it. Thank Great. you. Just a thought. Good idea. Yeah, no, it's a, it's, a, it's a good image. It's a good image. Cool. Lynn? So Sharon's question um, made me not quite sure what I was supposed to be doing because I was releasing the spiral and bailing the spiral, yeah, in the claw. Um, but I was I supposed to be feeling it further down the leg and I wasn't, or was I not supposed to be? Because Nick said, yeah, you're supposed to, but I was not looking for that. So maybe. Um, was that what you were saying, Rick? And I just missed that. I, I don't think it's necessary. Okay. I think I think you know, but it uh, if if that's what's happening for you, that's that's cool. But it's not something that I don't think it's necessary. To uh, I don't think you necessarily have to feel uh, that. But it certainly is. If it's something you do feel, then then go for it. You know. But uh, for me. The important thing is being able to release the qua in such a way as to be able to feel the substantiality of the supporting foundation of, of your leg. And then you're able to then, you know, release all the stuff above it. So that to me feels different. So when we were doing the hand thing, yeah. where, um, I can see how I'm real, I could be releasing it out, like the energy going into my opponent or whatever. And yep. when I'm doing the claw thing, I'm just sort of developing that energy. I mean, it's not going out in the same way or. Well, I, that, that's, that's a really good, that's a really good question, both of you. And, and that is uh, what it, uh, what comes to mind is that the leg energy is a whole lot more substantial. It's a lot denser than the arm energy. Right. So it uh, it requires a different um, uh, sensor to be able to pick up the density of that energy. You got to tune you got to tune to a different radio station in order to pick up that uh, the <laughs> to pick that up because it's a it's 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 a denser feel to it. Um, so, uh, um, what I'm feeling, you know, I'm feeling more of a substantiality there right. and whereas there's a, a, more of a yin quality and the arm has more of a yang quality to it. Okay. So that, okay. That, so that's are, how I explained it. They are different. feeling different. Okay. They yeah. feel different. Yeah. To, to Dude, clarify, yes. could I, I yeah. just, so you, you, you're feeling that that yin is that kind of like an earth connection there, or would, is that, it that, that, yeah. that's a good way of putting it? Okay, just thanks. It's, it's true. I mean, it's earth and it's also water, you know, because it water is, has this kind of centripetal quality to it. So you know, if you're depending on how you're how you visualize it, but it's definitely. It's it's a denser quality to it, and and so it's going to feel differently than than this, right? And uh, so, uh, but we're, uh, um, but still, there there just different qualities of spiral. Peter, you had something. Yeah, uh, when we were doing the arms, uh, an observation, a little puzzling, uh, when we stopped moving and just tried to make the spiral, you know, with intent. Yeah, um, it it pushed my body. I thought I wasn't doing it right, and then I 
like when when I was trying to move the spiral forward, my whole body got moved forward a little bit and spiraling back, my whole body got moved back just a little bit, but it was tangible. It was like a, a wave was pushing me. And then after, you know, we did it a few times and at a certain point it just reversed so that when I was intending a forward spiral, my body went back like a reaction. And when I was intending a backward spiral, my body got pushed forward, you know. Anyway, I'm wondering what that's about. Uh, my, my, my instant analysis would be that you get caught up in the spiral energy and forgot about the center of equilibrium. Okay. Oh, okay. So I lost, I lost my... You lost my your center. Because remember I said about how you... Oh. All motion is relative to something. Right. So if you're if right. your body is getting pushed away as you're as you're you know by by your the energy going out and your body's getting pushed back, then you've lost uh -huh. you've lost the power that is is being generated. The po all power is generated by uh, by occupying space and time. And so you if you to for you to have for this to have any kind of juice. You have to have something. It's moving from something still. I see. So I sort of lost, became ungrounded and lost That's my it. Yeah. Yeah. I I see. Okay. Interesting. Thank you. But it's it's kind of cool because you're 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 really into the into into the juice and that you know. Yeah. Well, and, something something happened. Yeah. Something. So there's some and, and this is great. I mean, it, it's it's experiential. But you know, you asked what what uh, was the right, uh, right. you know my, my interpretation of that sure. would be that yeah just get your you get your grounded and then you know then you need somebody to push against because it doesn't feel like you're doing anything but then you you do it with somebody and they they go shooting across the room and it's like oh okay I get it now but uh, you know right now if, you know you're just moving it uh, you don't have that point of reference. I see. Dude, you had something. Yeah, I was just going to say about the energy going, feeling the energy going down through your leg. Yeah. If you think of poles in opposition, uh -huh. with the quad being one end of the pole and the other end of the pole being like a foot below your feet, then you're giving a direction to the energy. That's a good point. Telling it, you know, that, oh, you can go there. Right. That's a good point. So, yeah, the idea of, of creating a hose, you know, a finite segment there and that moves through that and then you're you're able to attune to that energy a little more a little more uh clearly valerina um i could just i'm just gonna say this okay i thought that all energy moved in a spiral regardless whether you think about it or even feel it or not and so are what you say, uh, so what I'm interpreting what you're saying is that because we're focusing on it, on the spiral, then it becomes more, let's say tangible or more real, um, or is my first uh, thought that all energy moved in a spiral incorrect? I don't know if it's incorrect or not, but it's not part of my knowledge base. So uh, I, I, I don't know that that to be true. I, to me, I, 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 I don't think that uh, it's not something that, that sounds true to me, but uh, I'm happy to be proven wrong. I, I think the same thing that Valerina is saying. You think it, uh, it's always spiraling? Always conceptualized energy as spiraling. Okay, that's cool. And, and as I said, you know, right up top, it's like, it's the most fundamental pattern in the universe. So if that's how you visualize it, that's that's perfectly uh, perfectly cool. I don't necessarily think that uh, that is um, the the best way to think about it. I think that there's I think it's good to have spirals be spirals and other things do other things. So, uh, but uh, uh, I can certainly. Uh, I don't know. I guess I just don't know that to be true in all cases. So uh, that it's that, that it's fundamental that uh, all energy is spiraling. Yeah. Well, look behind you. 
look behind you on the wall. The yeah. spiral. <laughs> <laughs> Scott, you had something. Yeah, so when you were um, reaching forward and reaching back, um, it always feels more natural for me. Like, I don't, I don't, reaching my elbow down doesn't, doesn't seem as good as, doesn't work as well as reaching my elbow out, out more, more of an out, because then that spirals like also. This? No, just, in other words, instead of, you know, instead of down, more of a, more of a out, it seems to get more, it seems then the elbow also spirals when I do it that way. As okay. Opposed to down. Okay, that, 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 that's perfectly fine, sure. Just wanna make sure I wasn't cheating. No, 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 that, that, so yeah, if you're, if you're doing that, that's, that, yeah, you're following the, following the spiral. I guess the point I'm making is that you're pivoting at that elbow. So it becomes the lead, it's leading the parade. Okay, yeah, because I've I wanted to ask that question for a while. So. Okay, so I think you have to feel into your body and say, when is it kinking the hose? So obviously, right. if, I, if I'm pulling it back and I'm going up like this, there's, there's right. muscular contraction there. And so there's a point here where I find my sweet spot. You know, if I'm doing it, and there's, there's a sweet spot here, somewhere, maybe around here, where that, that's working just fine. I'm not doing this, I'm, I'm doing like that. So I think that probably is what you're talking about there. If I go up any higher than that, I notice that I'm activating certain muscles in my shoulder that could get in the way. Yeah, you know, they, they, they kind of get in the way from me. And so everybody's got to find their own sweet spot. But I think 45 degrees is, is a pretty clean place to be. Yeah, the way, you, the way you just showed it is the way that I feel I'm doing it. So. Cool. Cool. Thanks. Yeah. Good. Okay. One more thing. Karen, this is great. I, I really, I, I, I'm glad. I'm glad we're clarifying a lot of these points here before okay. we went boldly going forward. Thank you. Um, back to the arms where I felt so much, mm -hmm. um, but then when I really started to feel this, I think I was really feeling the circular and then spiral and. Great. And, but then it got sticky. felt like it was sticky, like I was, um, yeah, sticky, <laughs> you know. Um, I, 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 I'm not understanding what's- Was what it good or sticky. bad sticky? I don't know, that's why I'm asking. <laughs> it, was, it was just, it's something that occurred. It's like sticky as in, um, like being stuck with gum and trying to pull away in the movement. That actually sounds kind of good to me. Okay, all right. I mean, that's you know, it sounds, it sounds like like the the gin is is substantial enough that if it, your your feeling is that like, mm, you're there there you're there there's something to it there. So, but I I would have to I'd have to check it out and actually have to feel it. You know what you're doing to see if it. If, see if it's uh, if it goes that way, but what you're describing sounds kind of good to me. It's like, oh, you're you're you've you've you know stirred the gravy and it's gotten thick, you know, and yeah. uh, so it uh, it's got substance to it. Great, terrific, Richard. I, well, I was just thinking about. I don't. I'll ask Valerina about this, but the spiraling issue. I've I've never learned Chen style form, but part of my basic training was was Chan Sa Jin exercises. So I think that that's where the whole notion of everything is always spiraling uh, grew grew with me. I don't uh -huh. know it to be I don't know it to be true, but I think that's why I think the way that I do and feel the way that feel the energy the way that I do. Me too. I mean, that's that's where I got that. Cool. Um, I think uh, it's 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 useful until it's not. So you know, take it, uh, use it until until you run into something that says, "Oh, I think I can describe that better in this other way." And uh, but 
uh, it just doesn't ring to me as, as necessarily true in all situations that, uh, so we'll take it from there. Um, cool, let's see, uh, do we got to, we got a couple of minutes, so let's, uh, let's see if we can piece these pieces, these two pieces together, at least to get, to get it started so you can kind of play with that, because we have two separate ideas right now, one with the legs and one with the arms, so now we want to kind of organize that with, with the torso and the, you know, the legs, arms, and torso together. So we have one continuous kind of energy. So. Uh, let's see, let's watch you step with uh, your right foot forward. So we're going to feel the, uh, the, the motion is gonna be like this, okay? And then we're gonna come down like, like this. I'm sorry, come straight down and then up and around again like that, right? So just getting that idea. So what we're doing, it's very simple motion. That is we're going to reach out as we turn and then reach to the elbow, rotate. So we have this, this spiral this way and then it spirals that way. So the, uh, so actually forget that. Let's, uh, let's do something much simpler since we only have a few minutes to go. And that is we're going to, we're going to feel the ball of the foot, set the knee, and we're going to spiral down to the right. So we're gonna go like this. And as we do that, we're just gonna connect up. So bring your arm down and we're gonna connect up. We're gonna rotate. You feel the fingers, the wrists, feel the reach of the elbow. And as you spiral down simultaneously, you're rotating your palm up and reaching out. And we're gonna turn back. We're gonna reach, reach back with the elbow, the wrist, the fingers as we turn. Hand comes down and then feel the ball, set the knee, spiral down to the right. As you turn, the arm rotates, reaching forward. Reaching and then sink and reach back, turn. Very simple motion. And so notice that we're, as we're going back, feel the ball, set the knee and you turn, reach down with the elbow, turn with the wrists, the fingers, coming back down. Feel the ball, set the knee, and spiral down to the right, reaching, rotating as you reach. Feel the ball, set the knee, reach with the back with the elbow, rotate the wrists, the fingers. Now make it smaller. So we're going to spiral down, smaller, and a smaller spiral. Turn back, reaching with the elbow, the wrists, the fingers. Make it smaller still. So, and just hold that and just feel the energetic connection from your fingertips down through your feet. Feel the yin chi. You feel that yin chi rising animating your body, your own chi is extending down, emptying into the earth and then coming back, rotate, smaller, and then make it even smaller this time. And back. And smaller. And back. And this time, don't move at all. Just feel yourself spiraling down, rotating and reaching out with just pure intention. Now reaching, spiraling and turning the other way and 
pulling back and reaching forward, spiraling and back. Now let that go. You just feel the potentiality, that recreatable potentials of energy that exists in those movements. Your body mind has a memory now of that chin. You can find it anytime at once. And be able to improvise off of that pattern to create new patterns. Because it's, it's learning the language of insubstantiality. So bring your hand down, step back and step in, take a deep breath and disappear the chi. Take a seat, please. Let's see if we can tie this up. Peter. Yeah, so that was a really interesting phrase right at the end. You're learning the language of insubstantiality. So my question is, who or what is speaking that language? Who's you know, who's talking to whom? Good question. Well, well, well worth discussing, <laughs> but not right now. Okay. <laughs> Who or what is speaking that language? Cool. Anybody else? Uh, Richard. I just had a, a pretty powerful sensation of uh, creating the vor the center of the vortex for things to fall into it. Nice. At first I thought, oh, I'm pulling it. And then I realized I'm not pulling it. It's falling into it. <laughs> right. <laughs> Beautiful. Beautiful. Cool. Anybody else? Okay. Thank you all so much. That was a lot of fun. Thank you, Maria. That's great. Thank you. Bye-bye. Bye. 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 Bye, everyone. Thank you.